Hi boys and girls. This is the video that goes along with the Athens Sparta Peloponnesian War interactive notebook page. So on this first page, um, the title is Athens and in the circle on the left here, it says the Athenian government in 500 BC was considered a democracy. They had an elected official as well as an assembly. Members of the Athenian assembly were made up of the Athens citizens. Even though they had a democracy, they had slaves who could not participate in politics and decision making. On the right, in the talk bubble, we have daily life. Boys in ancient Athens were well educated and could attend college as they continued their studies. Women, however, were not educated and were considered as property. Politics. In Athens, it was believed that there was every citizen that it was every citizen's duty to participate in decisions and politics except for women and enslaved people remember they didn't have really any rights so the question is in what way were the athenians forward thinking in their way of life meaning forward thinking like think ahead like how kind of things are now and what were some ways in which they were less advanced and then on the second page, we have Spartans. I'm going to go down the left side first. Physical fitness was highly important in Spartan society because they relied so heavily on their military. Unlike most ancient civilizations during this time, Spartan women were educated alongside men. They knew how to read and write. They had more civil rights, such as being able to own property. Spartans also had slaves, and they were known as helots. They were treated very poorly, often beaten and murdered. Spartans highly valued their military and warrior skills. Physical strength was the most prized feature for both men and women in Spartan society. Okay, on the right-hand side now, daily life, Spartans would marry around the age of 20. During marriage, Spartan men would live their lives away from their family at military camps. Military, at a very young age, as young as seven, boys were taken from their family and sent away to become soldiers in the Spartan military. At the bottom of that page, the question that you are going to answer, in what way were the Spartans forward thinking in their way of life? And what were some ways in which they were less advanced? Then on the last page, the Peloponnesian War. The Peloponnesian War took place during 431 to 404 BC. Athenians formed the Delian League and the city-states that aligned with Spartans were called the Peloponnesian League. Thucydides was a major general in the war and survived. He recorded an unbiased and realistic account of the war. Historians use his text as a guide to understand what occurred during the war. Thucydides' writing was unusual during its time because most writers during ancient times included divine influence, which means it included writings about ancient Greek gods. This war lasted 27 years. In different periods of the war, different leagues appeared victorious. Both sides suffered major losses, but Athens surrendered in 404 BC. Even though Sparta had won, they were never the superpower they once were because of the toll the war took on them. And the question you're answering here is what is a primary source? What did historians consider Thucydides uh, writing as an accurate primary source? So again, primary source, think about it, it's primary, it comes firsthand. When you are done, make sure you go back into the Google Classroom and mark that in a personal comment that you completed it on paper.